Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and now, now that we've accomplished this much, aha, here we are. Ah, really? I think I've done everything I can as a, wait, hold on. Oh, right, I have to do this. Okay, j Bonefish, just go about your business. Okay. Now I have to go through, go to that door, which now that I have the ice arrows, I can actually accomplish. I believe you can only make two of these platforms at a time. That darn you. And they only last a short while. Dang it. Okay, so that didn't work. I could have sworn I could only do two uh, platforms at. I can only have two platforms at a time, maybe not. Get up, get up there. Get up there, thank you. Shouldn't be wasting my magic, but oh well. Though I think there's over there, I think there's probably more magic if need be. So can I make another one? Yes, I can. Okay. I guess I'm only limited by how much magic I've got. Ah! Get out of my way. There better be some magic in here or I'm screwed. Thank you! And this is the only place where these uh, blue choo choo show up, and this is pretty much the only reason that they exist. Oi. Alright, so. Ooh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you oh so much. Okay, and I think I want to go... Well, I don't really have much... Okay, I don't think I want... I think all these things are going to respawn. No, they didn't. Okay. But now we have these stupid things to deal with. Uh, and I'm, de I'm dealing with these plants now because if I land on the lily pad, they'll come. They'll uh, flip the thing over and 
come at me and make hurt me that way. Okay. So. Uh, I think that should be enough. Okay. And okay, so no icicles up top, that'll hurt me. And I actually need to switch to fire arrows for a brief moment. Oops. I think, yeah, I'll need the ice arrows for this part. Thank you for giving me stuff to use, to, to work with. And it's another one of these stupid frogs. Oh dear. Okay. Ah, get away, get away, get away. There we go. Looks like I got hit there too, but uh the power of cutscenes. And if you get hit by the by the giant the, the giant blob, he'll grab you, it'll draw you in and he'll the frog will start punching you. Hopefully I won't have to demonstrate this. Okay, how many more times do I have to do this? Well, at least I'm not taking as much damage as I was uh, in the last fight. Oh, Jesus, you're still not dead yet! Uh, the drawback of having the base level sword. It takes about four times as long to to kill your enemies. There we go. Thank you. Hoy. <laughs> all right. Time to Really is that all I'm getting? I'm only getting magic and no hearts. Please give me hearts. That would be lovely. Or not. Oh well, we got what we came over here for, the boss key. So I think... 
I think the next place I want to go is actually at the beginning. Ah, there it is. Because now that I've got the uh, water going through the red pipes, I think I can now reverse the 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 dungeon's polarity here. What? What? At? Dang it! Oh my! That was distorted. Although well, it still begs the question: How the heck can we actually hear the clock tower from here? Uh, okay. So. Actually, before before I go back to the ah, dang it. Yeah, this part is kind of tricky. That would probably help if I wasn't a Zora and he didn't jump like that when over water. Uh, I think I might as well do this if I can. I'm not entirely sure if I can, but it's worth a try. And we got the dank tech tights again. And I think there's a really big fish down there and I don't want to draw its attention. And also, if you head up there, there's probably at least one or two fairies up there. I mean, not uh, not. I mean the uh, the f the fairy shards, or whatever they're called again. Uh. Oh, uh, Link does that pose in in human form too. I did not realize that. Not that it really does it much good, but... Alright, so now that we've got the green pipes going. Which I believe is going to be necessary for the end, the end of things here. Whoa, how's that for recoil? Goodness. I forgot there was a door there. Silly me. Uh, all right. So now that I've done that, now I can reverse the pol the dungeon's polarity. Okay. I just need to make that jump onto there. Or not jump at all. Great. Uh, I can't even hit the yellow switch right now because I need to. I need these platforms to be active. Yeah, I think this is probably the safer way of doing things. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, why is that not working? Because I have a feeling that just doing a straight jump off of that wouldn't actually work. 
but it's still better than no jump at all. This is worrying. Okay, so where? Okay, there you are. Why? It works every in every other freaking platform. Why does it not work now? Wait a second. There we go. And I realize just what it was now, because there's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, the platform ends at an angle. That's why that wasn't working. Okay. It wasn't until that moment that I realized there was probably a hookshot spot there, too. All right, so now... I can move this one and the current will go in reverse. Although now that makes me wonder Is there more than one way for me to go from this point? Because I know where the boss door is. Well, let me see. Hmm. Alright, well, let's... To go take a look around and see what we can find. And I think the way I want I want to take that path there first. And you have to be careful because there's those things are there. Oh, hello there. Okay. Ah, there it is. Magic, please. Thank you. Probably shouldn't have grabbed both of them, but oh well. Uh, I don't think I can do anything there now. Or at least I shouldn't. I want to... actually use the platforms. I want to be able to jump from this platform one to the other one over there. But I also need the timing to be right. And that wasn't it. There we go. Uh, 
That looks like it'll only have a uh, fairy in it. And as such, it is none of my concern. And convenient how it stops at that exact spot in the rotation. Uh, though I think this might have a fairy as well. Yes, okay. Well, I hope that other one didn't have a key. Though I don't think there is much else for keys in here. Just a lot of platform shenanigans now. Okay. Gonna be switching back and forth here. And I see now I hit the wrong one. But first things first. Lift myself up and then I'll switch it back. It's a shame we can't have more than one type of arrows active at any given time. It would certainly make this process a lot more convenient. Although, I guess the fact that there's all these choo-choos around means I don't have to worry about running low on anything. Okay, so is there anything else to this place? Uh... I feel like checking that place out at... What the heck am I doing? Probably could have just used a regular arrow for that, but oh well. I want to say... That is also a fairy, but I can't take chances. Yes, it is. Okay. Although now, I have to set all the platforms back again. Oh, fun. Uh, actually, I'm not sure I do need to. Because I might be able to progress just from here. Haha! -ha. Alright, so what do we have next? Oh, it leads me here. All right. Rather convenient. Aha! Here we are. 
And this is probably going to be a bit of a longer video because of it, but I think I might as well just finish this whole place off since there really isn't much else. Because there is the boss door. Ah. Of course, that's assuming I can actually get to the boss door. Now, this boss, I've heard that people seem to have issues with this boss, and I am not entirely sure why, because I have, don't really have any problems with this thing at all. It's really just a simple, simple process. Uh, I think first things first. How we don't take damage from that is beyond me, but oh well. Hello, giant fish! <laughs> uh, Alright, where are you? I reiterate, where are you? There you are. So, you just hit him with an arrow. And it, it... Oh, jeez. Although, I guess for me, it usually goes better than this. Crap. Oh, wow. And here I say I don't usually have issues with this thing. And it takes me all the way back here again. Well, great. Okay, then. Oh, it just skips the intro altogether. And I think I attribute my last failure to just me being out of practice because it has been a while since I've played this. And also... Dang it. Don't eat me, don't eat me. Uh... There we go. That's more like it. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I feel like I got lucky there. I don't recall how many times you have to do this. Dang it. Uh, you're just giving me arrows, huh? I 
At the moment, I'm worried about having enough magic to finish this guy off. Although I think... Uh-oh. Yeah, we're definitely on the... And this makes me glad I grabbed a fairy before coming back here. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Okay. I only need one more hit. And then everything will be okay. I just have to see where he is. There he is! Yeah, because once he unleashes the little fishes, he's on his last hit. Or at least he should be. No, he's not! No, he is not! Uh oh. Okay. This could be worse. This could be worse. Where are you? I feel like I should be lucky I'm not getting hit when he's flying up there, when he flies by. There we go, okay. Whew, wow. I don't remember having that much trouble with this thing, but I guess when you're at, when you don't have the resources you normally do, it becomes a little bit more hairy. But at least I had the foresight of grabbing a fairy, and I just want to. And like, when all the little fishies die, they drop hearts, which can be helpful. And there is magic down here, although this is not really a very good place to be down here. Uh, okay. Got Georg's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask ha had kept imprisoned within the body of evil Georg. Hey, listen. We want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. I get it. We have to help the last one. Then promise us this. You'll cooperate with us. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> and with that, that's three out of the four rescued. And it's not going to get easier from here. Oh boy. So, until next time, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.